six a cuffs, eight of swords. Damn, Leo, you have somebody here that cannot stop thinking about you. Like, please, please, spirit, please, I beg of you, any good energy, something serious, something real, genuine. Architect is here, and painter, okay. <laughs> and avenger, okay. There is definitely going to be somebody that's going to come in and avenge your love life. You are that I'm speaking to. You're fully in that non monk Buddhist energy, and you don't give a damn. Like, you have somebody else. That, but I feel like, Leo, it's this person's time to make the move. Leo, you know, who's coming towards you is somebody that's really emotional, somebody that cries a lot. Hello, Leo. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. Stars Zayed here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys. Okay, this is who's coming towards you. This is Joan of Reed. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the lead tree link. In the description box below, I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guidance and free from my Leos. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So, Leo, who is coming towards you? What do we have here? We have number nine, Virgo. Hermit energy. Mercury in transit. We have Pluto here, Scorpio. Death and judgment. Pluto in transit, and then we have Cancer, the Moon, and the Chariot card. They're showing me a black bear, okay? So, I don't know what that's all about. We have the Nine of Swords. The Hangman. Oh, it's coming towards my Leos. A really emotional person. Five of Cups and the Will of Fortune. Leo, who's coming towards you is somebody that's really emotional. Somebody that cries a lot. Somebody that uh, just has a lot of feelings and emotions. Uh, someone that's very much feeling alone. They could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, a Virgo, or a Sag. The Devil, Page of Swords, who's coming towards my Leos, please, whoa, that card went flying out, Page of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Eight of Swords. Damn, Leo, you have somebody here that cannot stop thinking about you. You have somebody here that cannot stop thinking about you, cannot stop watching you. It's like they have an obsession, but this is somebody from your past. It is somebody from your past here. That's what's coming back to bring an offer, Page of Pentacles. Um, and they want the Ten of Pentacles with you. They want the Ten of Pentacles with you. I, you know, Leo, I can't help but feel like the Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Devil. They made an offer with the Devil. Like they had a choice between you and someone else, and they made an offer with uh, a karmic, and that's where they invested, and now they're just in regret. In regret that they chose that, that I'm really getting like God hid you in plain sight, Leo. God hid you in plain sight because now this individual is realizing who you are and what you truly mean to them. But this is really uncertain as to what's going to happen between the two of you because even though they're coming in, I see the Eight of Swords there. 
like you may end up having your boundaries up to this individual, but they for sure want to give you the ace of pentacles. I feel like y'all have really tried your hardest with this energy. I feel like y'all have tried. Eight of Wands. Yeah, like this is going to give y'all a headache. Five of Swords. This is going to give y'all a headache because... What? Two of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> now they're obsessed. When they were so... They're obsessed now, but before they were so on the fence to pursue this with you. So now they want to come. You know why this is happening? Because of that Venus, Mars conjunction, and they were both in Aquarius. That's why this is happening. That's why now these DMs or DFs, right? These individuals that we had these soul contracts with. That's why now they all of a sudden are showing up, right? They're coming in. And hmm, right, you got this person in their feels like this is somebody that's really emotional. Like this is somebody that cries a lot, Leo. Like they cry a lot. They don't show it. They play a tough act in public, but they cry a lot behind closed doors. Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Four of Cups. This individual's full-time job is stalking you. This individual doesn't work. This individual doesn't have a source of income. This individual is struggling. Like, why does this have to be who's coming towards you? Why, Leo? Why? <laughs> Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Like, y'all not even aware of this. Y'all just enjoy yourself sleeping peacefully. Lovers. Leo, you recently had a nightmare. You had a nightmare that you were in relationship. You woke up and you were in relationship. That was the nightmare. Because what I'm getting here is that you don't want a relationship. You 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 want your peace. Like this is how good you're sleeping at night. Single, not having to deal with the drama. Celebrate, okay? That's how good you're sleeping. Like you 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 not worried about that, love? You not worried about that ish, whoever you are. If this doesn't resonate, please watch your moon rising Venus. Like, you're perfectly content with being a crazy cat lady or dog lady, cat man, dog man, whatever. Like, you're perfectly okay with that being your future at this point. Like, you, you got 99 problems, but love ain't one of them, okay? <laughs> F that. Maybe next lifetime. But whoever you are that I'm speaking to, you're fully in that nun, monk, Buddhist energy. And you don't give a damn. Like, that's how you want to keep it. Okay? Like, you're good. Literally. So, we're just going to close this off because I feel like you don't even have interest in this at this point. Queen of Wands. Knight of Cups. Yeah. This is really intense with this person feel. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, yes. Y'all DM DF. Y'all both love each other, but you see, you're, you're, you both are not looking at each other. But I feel like, Leo, it's this person's time to make the move. Like, they got to make the move now. And that's why they're going to come towards you, because they're realizing that they have to move, make the move now, that you're not... You're not going to speak to them. You see, the both of you have your head turned away from each other. You both are not looking at each other. But you're both obsessed with each other, quite a bit of you. Okay, or at one point you were obsessed with this person and in love with them, right? At one point you very much were in love with this person, Leo, and the thought of the two of you being together. And I feel like deep down in this individual's core, they also had those same feelings but you see, they were always looking away, so you decided to look away as well and put your love towards yourself. You decided to fill your cup, Leo. 
So now, what's happening? Welp, they're going to come in in this Knight of Cups energy, but you're going to be in the Queen of Wands. So, mm, oh my goodness, this this is somebody that's cold. They they show up a certain way to the world, but this individual's crying like the, the, like who is this person that's crying over you leo who are they because they're crying over this they're upset they show coldness they're mad bitter like you're over here at peace in the four of swords you you ain't worried about this you're at peace with yourself so but you got this person crying you left them crying leo whatever the situation seven of cups nine of cups Six of Cups, all they do is think about you. That's all they do. So this is who's coming towards you. Oh, wait. The King of Pentacles and Two of Cups. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's somebody else here in the energy. You have somebody else. That's that Virgo energy that I was picking up on. That's a Virgo or a Capricorn that's coming your way. King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, Two of Cups. That's coming to Leo as well. Oh, Five of Wands. Leo, there's competition. This person's in a relationship. Clarify. Magician and the Ace of Swords. Spare saying yes. They could be a Capricorn or a Gemini. But this individual's in a relationship. But they're not going to tell you that truth. Because they want you to think that they're single so that there's no complications, so that it's smooth sailing. You need to be careful, love. You see, you see, as a Leo, your intuition, you're a fire sign that's actually intuitive, right? You're like that. And you see, your intuition told you to be in that non energy, to be in that Buddhist energy, to keep those legs closed, whether you're man or woman, and to stay to yourself. And to not get out here in these streets these days. Because too many people out here trading pH balances, okay? Um, no judgment to anybody, but, you know, we just got to be honest. Too many people out here were trading pH balance. So your intuition told you to stay home, be nice and cozy. Like, I'm really getting something about, like, you could have kids and you just chill with your kids. Or, like... You could have the Swish and you play the Swish. You play like those cozy games, right? Where you love watching a movie, having your ritual at night, getting your robe, doing your skincare, your hair care right before you go to bed, okay? Like you already have your ritual set in place, Leo. Like your peace, you know? Like if somebody calls you past a certain time, eh, do not disturb. You know, like you already have your thing. You have your ritual, your routine, and ain't nobody going to disturb that. So this Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini energy, and this person that keeps crying and is in tears over you, they don't stand a chance in hell. Let's get a character card. I don't know, at, at least not right now, because they're, they're both way too emotional. Uh, you know, the other one, they... They chose to copycat karmic, it seems, over you. And then the other one is literally in a relationship or married. So, like, who's going to go with that? Tell me about this King of Cups that keeps crying over my Leo, my lions, my lionesses. Tell me. Singer. Singer and civil servant. This is somebody that definitely has some type of attention. They could be in the public eye. But I also get this individual could be some type of stalker or like a private investigator or something. They've been stalking you and investigating you. Hmm. Singer. Oh, this is a criminal. Y'all, y'all better be careful. That's why that's why they're over here crying, Leo. This is somebody that's for the streets. This is somebody that's for the streets. Y'all be careful with this King of Cups energy. They did something. Y'all need to keep it moving. That's why your intuition is telling you no love right now. Your intuition is spot on, Leo. You are right. You are right, love, because this individual's on their way to the you-know-what. The, the Popo going to be getting them real soon. 
researcher in love. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. This Virgo Capricorn, I told y'all they were married. I knew it. And they're not going to tell you. They've been doing research on you. Why am I getting like this King of Pentacles is some type of mad scientist, hacker, techie. Like they're trying to hack into your phone or something. They're trying to like track you or something like this weird married person. What on earth is this planet? This planet is all kinds of karmic. This planet has to be the ghetto of the universe. Like, ain't nobody gonna tell me otherwise. Like, this has to be... Like, what is this? Is there any good energy coming to Leo? Like, please. Please, spirit. Please. I beg of you. Any good energy. Something serious. Something real. Genuine. Architect is here. And painter, okay. <laughs> and avenger, okay. There is definitely going to be somebody that's going to come in and avenge your love life. But I feel like since this is the main energy, this is what's coming in first. Like this has to be dealt with first. And then once this is closed off and blocked off for good, then this entrepreneur energy is going to come your way. And this individual is definitely mysterious. They're definitely a magician into the occult or something, very religious and spiritual. But architect and painter is there. I feel like this person lives off grid. Okay, Leo, this individual, this true counterpart that's about to come in, they're definitely they're definitely mysterious, I'll tell you that much. But they would be like a protector. They would be protecting you. This individual would be crazy over you, Leo. Madman is here. <clears throat> this individual would be very territorial over you when it comes to these two clowns over here. Because I'm really getting this emotional person has to be like your DM or DF. And I think that's why they're crying because they know they done got caught up and they're about to be, they're about to be locked up for good. I think that's why they're crying so much. And then this individual over here, they're already in a marriage. So who gives a damn if they come in or not? Like, they're not going to leave their marriage. Are they going to leave their marriage, Spirit? I'm, I'm getting they're not going to leave their marriage. Eight of Wands in reverse. They're not going to leave their marriage. They're not going nowhere. They're going to stay with whoever they got married because whoever they got married to allows them to do these things. So... They're both awash. Your true lover is on their way to you, okay? And you may find them cold or distant at first, okay? I'm going to be honest, Leo. They could even be the opposite of you. Like, they could be an Aquarius or a Scorpio, this new person that's coming in, okay? I'm getting heavy Pluto vibes here and life path number four. But, but this individual, they see your worth. Like, even though they come off as super mysterious, right? They're hooded. Even though they're super mysterious, it's like underneath there, those eyes have a lot of love for you. And they see your worth and they're not going to have you go out sad when it comes to love. They're going to avenge your love life, okay? Because your love life was in shambles, okay? I'm just going to be honest. But that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck. And I wish you the best of luck.